you hear people say they can speak Hangul or they want to speak Hangul. What's yeah. wrong with that? Yeah, you hear that. That's where a little bit of knowledge is dangerous. People think that they they hear the word Hangul and they think that's Korean language, but it's the Korean alphabet. And you cannot right. speak the alphabet. You speak Korean, the language, but you don't speak Hangul. You only can write and read uh, Hangul. Uh, I hear some people are confused about the image they should have of Korea. There is war, student demonstrations in the news and poverty. And on the other hand, there is BTS, Gangnam Style, you know, Blackpink, very successful, Polish and wealthy. Which is that? Yeah, interesting contradictory images. I think it's a, a matter of history in, in, in the old right. days. Uh, Korea used to have a lot of student demonstrations and uh, there was a lot of uh, poverty in the old days. But Korea has left all that behind. Korea is a fairly wealthy country now with per capita income uh, quite high, uh, getting closer to the United States. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of wealthy Koreans and most Koreans live you know, quite uh, uh, well off these days. Uh, and the demonstrations, this is really interesting. Because in the old days, the demonstration, they'd throw rocks and throw Molotov cocktails. And the police and the student demonstrators would go back and forth and tear gas and all this awful stuff. Now, when Koreans have demonstrations, they're called the candlelight demonstration. Right. And people bring their family and their children. And uh, the demonstrations are successful, uh, successfully impeached uh, the last president and removed right. from office. But the demonstrations are not violent, and they're uh, rather peaceful. So it's really remarkable. The image of Korea has changed a lot. Is it true that the Korean War is not over? Yeah, that, that's a little bit confusing because technically the war is not over. Technically, North and South Korea are still at war. But they signed a uh, treaty for not shooting, and uh, they're working out. A, they continue to talk about a permanent peace. But in the meantime, yeah, technically it's at war, but it's not an unsafe place. And I've heard that Korea is located in East Asia or Northeast Asia. But I, I've also heard people say Far East, which is a better term. Yeah, Far East is not a good term. Uh, you hear that for, from time to time. And that's a uh, right. what we call a Eurocentric term based on Europe. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Korea and China is the Far East. So that's kind of an outdated, uh, old-fashioned term. We should say East Asia or Northeast. Okay, great. Thank you.